loves welcome back so today's video is going to be an updated what's in my purse video I absolutely love doing these videos I actually have a few of them on my channel already because I do like to switch my bags out every couple of months or so so this is going to be like a fall edition what's in my purse because my bag is screaming fall and I absolutely love it really quick before getting started though I do want to mention two things so first I just filmed this makeup tutorial and I love it. It should be up probably within the next few days or so. And another thing, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Regan. She has a blog and I'll leave it right here and I'll also link it below. If you guys are into blogs, definitely check her out. And she actually featured me last Wednesday as her women crush. So thank you so much for featuring me and for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So I love the layout of her blog. It's just very classy and simple and that's exactly what I'm all about. So definitely check it out and I'll leave it linked below. So with that being said, if you guys want to know all the junk that's in my purse, then please keep watching. All right, so this is my big old bag. It looks like this. Yes, it's huge. I know it's like a bit redonkulous, but I carry so much stuff in here, you guys. It's actually ridiculous, but that's what girls do. So I got this from TJ Maxx a few weeks ago, probably like a month ago. It's Steve Madden, and it was $40.00. I think it's a really good deal just because of how big it is and because of the fact that it's Steve Madden because usually the bags are really expensive. So anyways, TJ Maxx is definitely my favorite for purses. Check them out if you have not done so already. And Ross. They usually have really good brands there for very reasonable prices. So I do have kind of an extra amount of stuff in here to share with you guys because I'm kind of showing you what I would carry like on the weekends when I sleep out at my boyfriend's college or when we have sleepovers and stuff like that. I like to carry like my skincare stuff and you'll see. So anyways, I'm just going to begin on the side pocket right here and show you guys what I have. So of course I always have my phone on me. I do have the iPhone 6 and I just have a clear case on it that I got from Amazon. I do have a video on what's on my iPhone, like the apps that I use to edit my pictures and stuff like that. I'll leave it linked below if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, just my iPhone and then I have my car keys. I love this sound. I've had the same keychains probably for like four years. Like I never change them because I really don't care about this. But yeah, and then I just have a really old picture of my boyfriend and I at the beach. Look how young we look. Like literally we look like babies. This was like in 2011. Crazy. And then on this pocket right here, I have one of my skincare essentials because I don't want it to spill in my bag. I carry my Witch Hazel. This is my favorite. I also have a skincare routine if you guys want to check it out. A link will be below. All the information will be down below for you. But this is my current favorite toner. It's like alcohol-free Witch Hazel, which smells just like roses, and I'm obsessed with it. If you go on Amazon, I'll leave a link to this below, but it's like 9 or $10, and they have a bunch of different scents. So definitely check it out because I really enjoy that. So that's all I carry there. And then on this pocket on the outside right here, I like to carry my pack of gum just because sometimes in my purse I carry so much stuff that like my gum will just get lost in here. And when I want a piece, I just want it quick. So this is just my favorite gum ever, the five, the spearmint. Oh, I love it. And I'm always chewing gum constantly in class and throughout the week because it just helps me to stay focused, which is kind of weird, but... I'm a weird person. So in this purse, or in this purse, in this pocket, I don't have anything. So I'm going to show you guys what's on the inside. Look at that. I just have so much stuff in here. And I also love the inside of it because I think this like gray and white blackish um, interior looks really good with the camel color of the bag. So let's dig in here. All right. I guess I'm going to just start with everything in the middle of the bag and then I'll show you guys what's in my pockets. Sound good? Sound good. So... I carry my brush with me on the weekends, um, especially when my hair's straight. Like whenever my hair's straight, it tends to get um, like knots in it and like really tangly really easily. So I always like to carry my brush. I should probably invest in a smaller one because like this is ridiculous, but honestly it fits in here perfectly. So I'm like, why not? And then I have my little skincare bag in here. This one's by Clinique. I got it when I got like, I forget what I bought, but I got this as like a free gift. But I have all of my skincare essentials. I just zip it up usually like halfway so my stuff doesn't fall out because obviously nothing fits in here. So I'll show you guys really quick what I have. So I carry my Mario Badescu facial spray. This is my favorite. This is really good. Also, if you have dry skin and you just kind of want to refresh your makeup throughout the day, this is amazing and I'm like almost out. But I love it so much. And then I have my favorite moisturizer. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Serum. I love this. 
definitely recommend going in and getting a sample of it because the sample will last you probably like a good month and a half, no joke. That's what I did and then I ended up falling in love with it so I just got the big size. But I love that. This is my favorite face wash, the Boots Anti-Blemish. I'm going through these really quick because like I said, I do have a skincare routine. I carry my toothbrush. I usually only carry this when I am sleeping at my boyfriend's college because I have my own toothbrush at his house. Then I have my Clarisonic. I just keep it in the little case. I cannot do my skincare without my Clarisonic. This is my baby. This is the Mia 2 and I definitely recommend this if you're struggling with acne or acne scarring. This is like a lifesaver. So I'm obsessed with that. So that's what I carry as for like my skincare essentials. And then <laughs> I always carry an extra change of clothes whenever I am like sleeping out because I like to be comfortable at night. So I just have like a plain gray v-neck. I get my v-necks from like Walmart, like cheap places like that. And then just some Sophie shorts. Really comfortable. I mean, let's get real. A lot of the time I sleep with no pants on. I know you do too. And then what else do I have in here? Okay. We're getting to the bottom, kind of. All right, so I just have my wallet. This is the same wallet that was in my previous What's In My Bag video. I really like it. I think even though it's silver, it still matches the inside of my bag. So I'm like, why not? So this is the brand Franco Sarto. I have no idea what that is. I got this from TJ Maxx as well um, a few months back, like um, probably almost a year ago. Then I carry my glasses with me. I am so blind. I can't even drive without wearing glasses. I talked about this in my vlog. I actually want to get contacts because I do not like wearing glasses like whatsoever. Like, I just don't like it. It's just not a good look for me. So I carry those and I have the little like thing to clean them because they get dirty and they get makeup on them a lot of the time. So then I have my body spray. I have so many body sprays. I like to just switch them out and just use them up so I can buy new ones. Um, this is by Victoria's Secret. It's very sexy now. This smells really, really good. I'm like almost done. Um, this is just a really nice kind of sweet floral scent. The very sexy line from Victoria's Secret smells divine. Definitely recommend it. And then I carry a bunch of tampons because you just never, you just never know. Like we all know how that is when you walk to the bathroom and then you have nothing and you're just freaking out. So I've been there, done that. So I always like to be prepared. So tampons are the way to go. And then I have a random lipstick in here. This is Blankety by MAC. And this one's actually all melted and messed up. Look at that. It like broke on me a few months back and then I tried to fix it. Yeah, it didn't really go too good. But I refuse to throw it out because MAC lipsticks are a little bit pricey. So I'm still using it. Oh, okay, okay. I have a spoon and some napkins in here. Honestly, I don't remember <laughs> when. I think this was from a few days ago when I took yogurt to class. Yeah, that's not cute. So that's pretty much all I have in like the middle part of the purse. I guess I'm gonna show you guys now like the inside pocket. I never close my zippers. Is that weird? Like I never do. So in this inside pocket, I just carry lip products. I used to carry a makeup bag with powders and like mascara and all this stuff, but honestly, you guys, I don't even touch up my makeup anymore because my skin has not been super oily within the past couple of months. It's just kind of been regular. So I really don't feel the need to touch up my makeup throughout the night or throughout the day anymore, which is a blessing. Regardless, I don't carry a makeup bag anymore. I usually just carry lip products to touch up throughout the night. So of course I have a bunch of nudes and these are like my favorites, Matte Naked by Milani. It's just a really pretty like nude shade. I always use this in like my tutorials and stuff. And then I have this Essence Gloss or lipstick. It's an Oso oh So Matte. And this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's just a really pretty nude color. And then I have an Essence Gloss. This is the, you can't even see it anymore because it's like about two months old, but I love this gloss. It's the XXL Shine Glosses. This one's a nude candy. These glosses, I believe they're under $5. I get them at Ulta and they're amazing. They're so creamy and they glide on the lips. And then also I like to carry a pair of tweezers. These tweezers are by Revlon and I really like them because they're pretty sharp and pointy so I can really get those little stubborn like hairs. Whenever I get my eyebrows done, they always tend to miss hairs and it bothers me or if I'm in the car and I'm looking at my makeup and I see like a little hair, I have to pluck it. So these are essential and I got these from Target. And then I just have a bunch of little, um, what are these called? Q-tips. I know this isn't like the most sanitary thing, but I just throw Q-tips in here sometimes. If I ever have a little makeup mistake, I'll just touch it up and fix it in the car and then I'm good to go. All right, so moving into the little side pockets right here, I just have some hand sanitizer. This is just like the original, like Purell kind. 
because there's way too many germs in the world and usually when I go out to eat I like to wash my hands or use some hand sanitizer because I don't like to eat with dirty hands. You know when you can just feel when your hands are dirty? Like I hate that. And then I have an announcement you guys. I came out with my own perfume. Psych! I wish. Like that's a dream of mine but this is actually my current favorite perfume it's glam jasmine by michael kors and how ironic that of course that's my name but this smells so good i don't know why i still have the box but it smells really really good it's been my go-to perfume it's a very sweet i don't even want to use it because it's like so luxurious to me but i it's a very sweet kind of floral scent which is like exactly what i like i've been using the big bottle more but i throw this in here whenever i feel like i want to just touch up because i'm all about smelling good like i'm constantly spraying stuff um and then i have my birth control in here and then I also have this little mirror that I got from House of Lashes. They sent me a free gift because I ordered two of their like um, eyelash adhesives. So it says Lash Game Strong. Like how cute is that? And it's just a little mirror. And I actually never have a mirror in my purse, which is really weird. I just use my phone. But this really comes in handy. So I have that. And then I think that's honestly pretty much it, you guys. Oh, I have a pair of earrings. I always carry earrings with me. I don't know why. Oh, I have this random bobby pin in here. Where are they when you need them, right? Like, they're always popping up when you don't need a bobby pin. And then I have this chapstick, super random. It says, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. Like, look at that. This is my current chapstick that I'm carrying in my purse. Like, really? But this is actually really good. It's, like, really minty and fresh. It's, like, amazing. I love minty stuff on the lips. But this is just my current chapstick. I have no idea where it came from. I think I found it in my car, and then I just threw it in my purse. But... Yeah, that is honestly, you guys, pretty much it. Pretty boring. I don't feel like I have that many stuff in here besides, like, all my skincare and that random spoon and my clothes. But for the most part, I feel like I don't really have, like, too many little knickknacks in my purse. I'm just kind of very basic with it now. But I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I always like to add new things to my purse. So let me know down below the things you guys carry and how you store your things in your bag because I feel like I'm not the most organized person when it comes to purses. So let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. So I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.